Hello, it's Pete here again and happy 2018 to you. It's time to dust off last year's New Year's resolutions and, as some say, it's time to turn over a new leaf. And the leaf that I had in mind, or leaves should I say, is this wonderful set designed by Sophie Guilla. And today we're going to use these to create a lovely stencil. Let's get cracking. So today we're going to be using our fold away machine, so we'll just slot that into place like so. And we're going to be using the large leaf, the large flat leaf from our lovely set. And you probably notice that I've already cut several apertures into this piece of white paper. Now, it's very important that you use very thin paper. This is just standard photocopier paper. You can use any old junk mail or something like that, whatever you've got to hand. And I'm gonna do the last cut. So we sandwich between the two plates, place it onto our platform and simply run it through. There we have it. That's the last one in place there. Now, I'll put the machine to one side and I've got a piece of cream or ivory card. Now, because we're using this as the stencil, I need to attach it and I'm going to use spray glue. And you see here, it's very rudimentary. It's an old cardboard box. There we are, anything to save the table. Uh, this is not permanent glue, obviously. We want to be able to remove this stencil afterwards. But we'll press that down into place. The reason I use the thin paper is because it gives a really super crisp edge. So I'll take my brayer, just to make sure all the edges are sealed. And that's it, ready to go. Now, we'll bring in the craft mat. And I'm gonna be using two distress sinks today. I'm gonna to be using crushed olive and broken china. And I think we'll start off with our broken china. And I'm going for quite a random effect. I wanna mix these two colors, blend them together. So we get Plenty of broken china in there. And then come in at this angle. And finally, well, not finally actually, but we're coming down there and just twist it round. And we'll get these last four leaves here. Lovely blend, broken china and crushed olive. It's a classic, you've probably seen me use it a few times. I need to wean myself off it. Maybe that can be my New Year's resolution. No more broken china and crushed olive. I doubt it though. There. I'm sure you'll agree, it is a lovely, lovely combination. I love the way the crushed olive freshens up the broken china and creates a third tone, a, th a third green in there. You can also use mustard seed or any other yellow like squeezed lemonade if you want to really freshen it up. There we are. Um, now at this point you have a look and you say mm, maybe I can do some more broken china there, maybe a bit more there. There's no right or wrong, as long as you're having fun. Now, this is the bit where we take off. You probably noticed that I've gone over the edges. That's fine because I'm not gonna use the whole thing. There we are. Now, in my last vlog, which is way back on December the 20th, probably remember I used a sharpie to outline the shapes. This time I'm going to be using a marker pen and it's a it's a fine line pen. It's a 0.3, you can use a 0.5, 0.8, 0.1 even, doesn't really matter. And 
with this, I'm just going to make a line up the center. And you notice that it's nowhere near the center. But again, it's a case of embracing that imperfection doesn't really matter. And the harder you try, the more imperfect it looks. So just be really free with your lines. We'll do one more and then for putting the veins in I'm just simply going to do that so see I'm not taking any care at all and the design benefits from that because the line looks really free so if I started doing this you see that's not good you want to rush through it You can do them upside down like that. So, obviously I continue to the end and then I'd use a paper trimmer or a craft knife and steel ruler. And what I would get eventually is this, that's trimmed down to size. And I'm gonna attach that to a piece of dark gray card. Put the double-sided tape on, ready you don't want to watch me putting double-sided tape on card that's not what we're here for there we are that's in place and then I'll peel the double-sided tape off the gray card and place it onto my pre-stamped card there how about that simple yet effective I want to show you a couple of others that I've done using the same set. This one is using the fern and to get the colors I blended sealess preserves and I think it was peacock feathers but that's uh, distress oxide paint and then finally I used this leaf nice and simple um, it's all about the color of the green in the background. The rest is just black and white, few little flowers there in between. But it's a gorgeous set and it's great. It's a flower's best friend. If you love flower dyes, then this is a great set to accompany all those flowers. There we have it. There we are. Thank you very much once again. Thanks for joining me. Um, and now, if you want to know any more about the products that I've used today, or if you just want a little bit more inspiration, then why not go to sizzix.co.uk. Thank you. Bye.